With that, I'm proud to introduce to you RMU's new football head coach, Bernard Clark Jr. Well, I was going to write something down, but I've been waiting for this so long, I really know what I want to say. The first thing I want to tell you is this. What I'm here to do is to build a foundation based on Trust, honesty, discipline, integrity, and character so that our young men can become better men, better husbands, and better fathers. That has been my motto ever since I started coaching at James Madison University years ago because when I got into coaching, it wasn't about the X's and O's. And a lot of coaches have heard this a hundred times. It's never about the X's and O's, it's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. We've got to make sure that we're focused on the thing that's important. So when the young men return, they got to understand that we're going to be focused in everything we do. We're going to be disciplined in everything we do. But we're going to be enthusiastic about what we do. And I've told Dr. Coleman this. Remember, discipline is not the enemy to enthusiasm. We have to be focused. We have to be willing to do what it takes to be a great football team. But more importantly, we have to be doing what it takes to be a great man, a great husband, and a great father. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, I'll take them now. My decision to come to Robert Morris was based on the fact that I felt like it was a new beginning for me. I felt like it was a great opportunity. I felt I can come in here and create a, a culture and bring the coaches that will help me create that culture. That's the opportunity I looked at, looking at Robert Morris University. Let's go, let's go, let's work, let's work, let's work, let's work. Did Kiki get you? Oh, he got you. Nice job, Janard, nice job. Nice snap, nice snap, nice snap. We covered it, Coach. I can't believe it. Coach Plunges, we covered it. Coming as a new staff here at Robert Morris, you know, our big thing was, you know, changing the culture, changing the way we practice, changing the, thing we, the way we went about things, you know, on the field and off the field, and just the attitude as a whole. Because, uh, you know, we we need to keep progressing here and, and keep the development of the players and the program going at a forward level. Two players right off the bat that are that are extremely important to this defense is Adam Wall and Amir Fenwick. They're two senior leaders that you know we're blessed to have here that that came in and and they do a great job. Now Amir is you know not so much a, a talker, but he does he does well with his actions on the field and he leads by his actions. And Adam is a is a great role model for us. Um, great player that you know is our Mike linebacker and kind of you know gets us all set and gets everyone going to whatever checks or whatever plays that that we need to go in going into a game. I think camp is more, with the coaching change, I think camp is more intense. Like they're, we're getting after it more and more and more because the coaches know and us play, they stress to us players competition. So they know that we, in order to win, in order to be the best, we got to compete at the highest level each and every day. The best thing to me about training camp is just the fact that you're able to, you know, build team camaraderie, especially us being a new staff and trying to instill a new culture with, uh, with the team and the guys. You know, I think it's really important that you're able to basically have a whole month where there's no distractions outside of football. There's no, not the class is a distraction, but there's no class. There's no, you know, there's not a whole lot of people on campus. It's just us and we're kind of in our own little world. Um, and, it, and I think that's a really important thing. And again, especially being a first year staff to be able to instill that in guys and, and really just dive in with them and, and face the season and, and gear up for the season and what's about to come. Thank you. 
the thing I think myself and the coaching staff are bringing more than anything else is we're competing on the field every single day. We're hoping these guys understand it's going to take one play at a time, one day at a time, one game at a time. You can't look forward. you got to look at the now more than anything else. And the one thing that's extremely important to all of us, not just the coach, but also the players, that's becoming oneness. That's not being the same, but that's becoming one, understanding we're all in this thing together. We're all playing for each other. Well, the thing I feel that's important about training camp, because we are putting in a new offense and a new defense and something these guys haven't seen over the last few years, obviously we were the three-man front defense last year. And I think they're more pro-style offense where we're doing kind of a combination of both. The thing that's extremely important is timing uh, and togetherness and working together and communication. Those are the, probably the three most important things on the field during camp. And once you get that timing down, because offense needs timing for routes and where to pitch the ball and where to throw the ball and things like that. And defenses need communication more than anything else and togetherness, learning how the man next to you plays and what he's looking for. And can you trust him to do the job? And trust is a big part also when it comes to camp because we find out who we can trust to play this position, who we can trust to play that position, who can we trust on fourth and one, and who can we trust in the red zone. So those things are extremely important in training camp. But that's why there's a big need for training camp. We're attacking defense. You know, we want to get downhill. Um, you know, we want to create a little chaos for the offense. But we want to be alignment and assignment sound. Um, I think the big thing going in for our defense is we got to be in the right place in order to start a play. If we're not, you know, we're not going to be good. So we, we've been harping, running the football, creating turnovers, and being alignment and assignment sound. You know, a coach that I had in college, Bob Ford, always used to tell us misalignments and misassignments will lose you more games than mismatches. And that's, that's the honest truth. So we got to be alignment and assignment sound in everything we do. Let's go. Stay, stay with. Close, close, close. There you go, Lamica. Nice. That's good. Here we go. Here we go. Hey, hey guys, we're in man, right? There you go. You got to be tighter. It's got to be an eye and an eye. I don't care about your depth. I'm just saying uh, tighter with width. All right, you can keep your depth. Here we go. Push off the right foot. Lead with your left foot. Getting vertical on him. Let's go. If we keep going side to side, offensive linemen are just going to wash you out. Let's go. Get to it. Get to it. Get to it. There you go. Better. Better. Hey, make sure. Hey, make sure. If you guys are going underneath, uh, you got control of the body. Here we go. Yeah, our t the tight end group, it's a, it's a unique position and it's an exciting position to coach. It's something that I, I was very excited about when, when I was given the opportunity and got to be around Coach LaVar and understand his offense and what he wants to achieve with, his, you know, with, the, with the scheme. And, and at the end of the day, there's, it, it comes down to the players that you're coaching. And, you know, I got two guys, really three or four, that I can count on to put in there. You know, Steve Petrick's going to be the physical you know, run game guy and really do a really good job there. He takes a lot of pride in it. And, He's a physical kid, no nonsense type of guy, the kind of guy that you like at the tight end position because, like you touched on, like Coach Clark said, you know, Coach Lavara asks us to do a lot, you know, whether it's in the run game and the next play you're flexed out and you're running around like a wide receiver. And that's why I talk to my guys. Like, you got to take pride in that stuff because it's, it's a unique position. There's not really a position like it on a football team where you're a hybrid guy and you're doing all these different things. And, uh, you know, Matthew Gonzalez, Ma Gonzo, as we call him, he's, he's a really dynamic kid. Um, both of them can do stuff on the perimeter really well. Both of them can do stuff in the run game. Um, so that's a great problem to have as a, as a coach is you got two guys that can really do both things, whether it's in the run game or in the pass game. And so it's an exciting thing, an exciting time. The guys that we found, not really surprising, the guys that have stepped front forward right now are the guys we put in the leadership committee. And those are the guys that have stood out more than anything else. Adam Wallet, you know, he stood out in the spring as a guy that's eager to learn, that's hungry that wants to play the position, that wants to have a winning record before he leaves here as a senior. Amir Fenwick, the same way. Amir's a hard-working guy, busts his behind, probably our best player on the defensive line. Tavall Brown, you know, he's come along, you know. In the spring, we weren't sure, but since he's gotten back here, he's become a real vocal leader. Uh, he's really busting his behind every day in practice and giving us everything he has, and he's doing a great job there on the offensive side of the ball. Like I said, Jimmy Walker, uh, one of the guys we feel like is going to be a good leader for us just because he knows what's going on. He's got a feel of the game. Eric McAllister, great player. Uh, the vocal guy on the offensive line does a great job also. And Delano Madison, you know, he's uh, also one of our outstanding receivers who's done a great job. I just want to get him on the field and tell those guys are doing. Those are the guys that have stood out to us more than anything else. And that's why we put them on the leadership committee, and that's why we feel like they're going to lead our team into uh, great things. Well, as of right now, the quarterbacks that we have 
are all three still competing for a starting job more than anything else. I'd say if you gave someone a slight edge right now, it'd be Jimmy because Jimmy's a senior. He's going to his fifth year uh, as a senior. He's real dedicated to what he's doing, and he's been on the field. He's played in a lot of games over the past two years. He's done a great job for those guys, and uh, even though they struggle, he's still a heck of a quarterback. And George, you know, he's young. He's still growing. He's still vibrant. He's still feeling his way a little bit here and there. And Caleb, the young man that we brought in from LSU, Caleb's also young when it comes to the field. He's older when it comes to school and football, but he's still young when it comes to the field because he didn't play much when he was at LSU, obviously, so he didn't see the field much. So the competition there is still kind of open, but I say if there was a lead guy right now, it would be Jimmy, just because Jimmy knows uh, the feel of the game right now. If you want to win, you got to practice hard, guys. Play the no such thing as easy wins. There's no such thing as easy wins. You got to work our butts off if you want to win games. Plain and simple, you got to work your butts off. You got to put in reps. O-line, D-line, it starts with you guys up front. You got to go 60, 70 plays a game. If you ain't ready to go 60, 70 plays a game, O-line, D-line, we ain't going to win. It starts up front with you guys. Remember that. Every time I need the heim to throw that to the side. Yo. I get those goosebumps every time. Yeah, when you're not around, when you throw that to the side. Yo. I get those goosebumps every time. I need the heim to throw that to the side. Yo. I get those goosebumps every time. Yeah, when you're not around, when you throw that to the side. Yo. I get those goosebumps every time. time, time.